I'm Matthew McAuliffe, and here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Catholics must accept contraception coverage, for now, as part of their insurance plans, according to two new federal court rulings. Obamacare is refusing to accommodate the Catholic diocese of Nashville and Pittsburgh, and in both cases, judges refuse to issue injunctions against the enforcement of the infamous mandate, claiming because the law has not yet taken effect, no damage has been done to their religious freedoms. The judge in the Pittsburgh case points to a future lawsuit as possible, quote, at a time when harm is more imminent and more certain. Poland's Supreme Court is facing challenges of its laws against recognizing benefits to same-sex couples. The court ruled this week that the surviving member of a same-sex couple could retain the rights of a tenant in a leased apartment if their partner dies. This comes after lawmakers rejected a proposal for same-sex civil unions in Parliament without reading it. Poland is also forbidding ritual animal slaughter within its borders for reasons relating to the humane treatment of animals. The law mostly affects small pockets of Muslims who practice the halal slaughtering custom and Jews, both of whom ritually slaughter animals without stunning them first, a requirement by previous laws enacted almost 25 years ago. The practice of this previously established law is seen as significant since practicing it means defying the European Union's law allowing the ritualistic slaughter of these animals. Another big bite is being taken out of the number of Big Apple Catholic schools as the New York Archdiocese considers making more closures. Twenty-six more schools are on the chopping block, closing as early as next June, with St. Agnes Boys High School possibly shutting its doors at the end of this school year. The decision comes after the Archdiocese closed schools two years ago as part of what it calls its, quote, reconfiguration plan. This latest wave of closures will reduce the number of Catholic schools in the city to 133. One atheist man hitting the ski slopes of Whitefish, Montana, may be the cause of a World War II memorial's destruction, all because a statue of Christ watches over the skiers there. A judge is ruling the Freedom From Religion Foundation's courtroom fight against the Knights of Columbus to tear down the war memorial can continue after the Knights asked for the case to be dismissed since no one had yet come forward to complain about the statue of Christ on the mountain. The atheist activist lawsuit claims it is unconstitutional for the U.S. Forest Service to continue to sanction the 57-year-old statue maintained by the Knights of Columbus. Fear of offending Muslims is causing the city government of Brussels to ban Christmas trees from public view. The city center is announcing it will not put, be putting up its normal nativity scene in Christmas tree exhibit this year, that a, quote, electronic winter tree will be there instead. 25% of Brussels' population is Muslim. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about how division is not as devastating as most people think. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you.